Before the video starts, I just want to mention that you can enter a giveaway to win the Season Premium Pass, plus 10 levels, 1000 coins and 10 reanimators simply by commenting below what you think of the suggestions that I make in this video, or even by suggesting your own ways to improve PvP. Hi again everyone. As you all know, PvP is a really fun aspect of the game, and I've personally never enjoyed the game more than when I'm in a gunfight with another player or in a 2v2 with my teammate. However, there is plenty of room for improvement as well as things that just need to be fixed to make this whole experience more enjoyable for everyone. So without further ado, this is my list of changes to improve PvP. First up is a fix for spawn camping. You should never load into the zone to find yourself standing there with players waiting to kill you the second the invulnerability wears off, let alone two or three players doing it. I have personally died to this many times since the update released, and the fix for it is an incredibly simple one. We need an exit PvP button, the same way that we can exit apartment at the tap of a button. We should be able to exit PvP provided you have not yet moved from the spot you spawned in on. This I feel would be a huge improvement to the game. Another improvement is going to be a hard one to get the devs to add, and that is simply stop destroying and nerfing items when we kill a player. If I risked all my own gear to kill another player, I should get everything that player had on him. The system should not massively decrease durability of items and delete others. This mechanic is straight up disgraceful and you don't find it in any other game. Developers, if you want players to purchase things from the store with real money, do it by having that item be something desirable, not by pressuring them to buy it by making it so we can't get it from a fair kill. This change also applies to items from the PvP crate. If I kill the player that looted it, I should get all the items from the crate, not a third of them. One feature of PvP has been annoying me more and more lately. Players have started, on an increasingly frequent basis, deleting their own items before dying. I observed this again yesterday when I was fighting a player. He realised he would not win and backed off. I didn't chase, but instead allowed him to leave. He then returned naked and tried once more to shoot me. I killed him and lo and behold, there was nothing on his body but a couple meat soup. Just like in single player raids, I believe players should not be able to delete items. Whilst yes, this may cause some issues, for example not being able to loot the PvP crate items, it could be easily avoided by simply being selective with what you take from other players, instead of clicking take all and filling up with cloth rope, simple backpacks and 1% durability scout armour. I have two improvements remaining and I believe they will both be the most controversial of the list. The first one being an X players remaining message above the PvP crate opening timer. This would be a great addition simply because not all zones have four people in them. Sometimes there is only three or even two. If I run around and kill two other players I would like to know that I'm the only remaining player in the zone. My final change is concerning teaming, a topic that has been widely discussed on all of the Last Day on Earth social platforms and has led to many arguments between strangers, friends, clanmates and even the official partners and streamers of the game. It is clear that the devs never intended teaming to be a thing in PvP. Even in their advert for the update they specifically mentioned fighting against your own clanmates. And while I don't expect that to happen nor want it, I'm sure many other players would be happy if the issue of teaming were addressed, and I've come up with a few possible solutions for this. The easiest change would be to make it so you cannot enter PvP with your clanmates. Whilst this would not completely prevent teaming, it would cut down on it since most teams are members of the same clan. This could even be done by having a district cooldown on the travel to PvP button, so members of the same clan cannot tap the button within 30 seconds of somebody else in their clan tapping it. A slightly more drastic but nonetheless effective solution would be to have a proximity timer in place. If you are within the inner circle of another player for example 5 seconds and no shots are fired, you start to take 10 damage per second. Of course the rate at which you take damage and the timer before it starts could be adjusted, this was just an example. 
However, this would only be effective if it did not take into consideration players hiding in the long grass as that would defeat the purpose of being able to hide and wait. The most logical way to fix teaming, however, would be the introduction of tiered PvP. So you would have solo, duo and trio modes. These would involve creating a party with your clanmates or people from your friends list and then travelling to PvP together to be matched against other teams. A fun twist on this mechanic would be to allow solo players the option to enter duo or trio PvP arenas to be matched against teams if they are confident in their ability to survive such an encounter. I'm looking at you both, Fingers and MindDX. And on a slightly unrelated note, I've put a link to MindDX's channel in the comments below. Go and check him out, he's got a few videos of him taking on teams by himself. Right, and there you are, those are my suggested changes to fix PvP. I'm sure what we have in the game now is just a first draft and we'll be seeing some improvements in the next Crater update. I just hope that the developers take these points into consideration when deciding what to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.